It's obviously family. All right, it's drizzling a little bit. Bismillah. MashaAllah. Just look at that color. Assalamu alaikum, HT family. Welcome back to the Halal Digest. We're going to be making some Halal smoked chicken lollipops as well as some Halal smoked wings. And I can now get started. HT family, today I have some beautiful Halal crescent drumsticks here. Okay, and we're going to actually start off with that because I do want to wet brine them for a little while. And then I actually have some beautiful Halal chicken wings. MashaAllah. So let's put this here to the side. Alright, sweet family, before we get started, we have to prepare the chicken by really removing some of this fat and ligaments here. So first off, you need a nice knife sharpener. This is what I like to use for my sharp knife here. I'll put the link in the description below. I've been using it for some time, getting some good sharp edges to help with my, uh, my uh, cutting. And then to be safe, I have been also using a glove knife or a knife glove. This, you know, obviously nothing, nothing's perfect, but it does help with any uh, mistakes when you're trying to slice. And alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen, it's uh, helped uh, me a lot. So here we have a sharp knife. And what we're going to do, actually, family, is probably cut right about here. You want to, right where the meat starts to get to the bone, that's where you want to make a, a, an incision. Not at the edge, but right where there's a little bit of meat here. Because you want to make sure you're, you're going to cut it. And then you want to cut all the way around. And that's why it helps to have a nice sharp knife. All right. Once you made an incision all the way through, you made sure you cut all the tendon and skin here, which is a lot trickier than you think. You want to start scraping off all the way to the end here. Scrape, scrape, scrape. Nice and clean. Put a little bit of cutting and scraping. Almost there. So that's a pretty good job here. Nice and clean overall. Now, if you stand these up, it falls. So what you got to do is take it here and you just kind of pull it a little bit. Pull, pull, pull until you get kind of a, a base. Just like that. There we go. Beautiful. Much better. All right. So that was probably the most difficult part of all. And now we're going to do the wet brine. Actually, family, for our wet brine, we only have a few pieces of chicken, so we don't need that much liquid. But we, I have four cups of water here. I have a fourth cup of salt. I have some, I have an equal amount of vinegar. And one tablespoon of ginger paste. I'm going to mix that around here. Alright, family, once the salt has dissolved, we are going to put our chickens here. Alright, see family, we're going to let these wet brine for about an hour or until we get our wings ready. Let's get started on our wings. Alright, see family, so for our wings, let's get these ready. Again, beautiful Hadad crescent wings. Let's open them up. Alright, see family, so here we have a whole chicken wing. And uh, what we want is this drumette here, and then we want the wing at this. We're going to cut off. And we're going to freeze add to our stockpile to make eventually chicken stock so best way to do this here just so you know where you're going is i take this kind of separate it here and then i just make a slice separate a little bit more and keep kind of slicing until you kind of get in between the joint area okay and you may have to crack a little bit that's okay once you do, you'll have more space to cut. Okay. There we see the there we see the joint area, so you want to cut in between you want to cut there. Perfect. Okay. So this is the uh drumette. There's the wing gut. Now we're gonna separate this. This one's a little bit trickier to be honest with you, even though it's smaller. Just that's probably why, because it's just smaller bones, and so just gonna do our best here. There goes your family. We found the, the joint. Now we're just gonna cut in between. Perfect. We have a beautiful wingat. We have the drum right here, and then now we'll do the same for all of them. We'll see you in a bit, your family. All right, your family. Here we have our halal chicken wings ready. And what we're going to do with them, actually, is going to, um, I'm going to separate them 
So half we're gonna do a very simple non-spicy rub, the other half we're gonna do a spicy rub. For our non-spicy rub HD family, I have an equal part of the following pepper, salt, garlic powder, and paprika. I'm gonna mix that. Now we're gonna sprinkle on each side there. Put that over here. I'm gonna actually add one more thing. Just a touch that makes all the difference. Got to add it actually. Just gotta make sure everything's coated. Uh, the last part, HD family, I forgot to add is just a touch of sumac. So sumac it has a little bit of citrus, citric acid flavor, and it really just brings out the poultry type flavor that we're looking for. And I'll probably say a teaspoon, you know, just a little bit, just to bring some of that flavor out. Too much can be overpowering. So again, I'll just kind of mix that. But definitely, I think it's a very important spice to have in um, smoked and poultry in general. For our spicy and tasty family, equal part pepper, salt, red chili pepper, and again, uh, probably a fourth or half the amount of sumac here. So I'm gonna mix that. Now we're just gonna. Let's do the other side here. All right, family camera shut off here. So we just plated our spicy chicken on this side and then spicy uh, chicken on this side. And now we're gonna put our chicken lollipops here. All right, family. So we have our chicken lollipops that have been wet brine have been wet brining for probably about 45 minutes to an hour. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take them out and we're gonna keep the seasoning very simple, just black pepper. Uh, there's something special that I want to do with it. Let's take them out and add some black pepper. This already has a little bit of garlic flavor. It has a salt already. Some uh, acidity from the vinegar. All right, family, let's put this here. All right, family, so I got our chicken lollipops here. And all that's left is let's fire up the smoker and get these in. So let me see family, so here is our pellet smoker. This is the Green Mountain Grill Daniel Boone series. I've had it a little over a year. And for and if you've watched my videos on how to make brisket, ribs, spatchcock chicken, uh, I've, already taken, I've already taken you through this walkthrough. So basically it takes real wood, but wood pellets here. And it slowly sends it here to a fire pit. Uh, where there's a fire and it lights it up, create, creating smoke. The, the heat from the smoke uh, produces some amazing, uh, unique flavors. So today we're smoking our chicken at 325. Bismillah. Here we go. So we're gonna go for probably one and a half to two hours. We're gonna look for an internal temperature of 175, 170 to 175. Uh, dark meat like this can tolerate higher temperatures than breast chicken. So we'll see it, we'll check on it in about an hour. So now we family. All right, see family, we are not done. While we have the chicken smoking, what are we gonna do with our chicken lollipops? Um, again, although it looks very simple, there's a, there's a reason. We're gonna make some peri-peri style chicken lollipops. So let me just start by saying, save your money, save your time. This is so far the best halal peri peri sauce I have found. Or let me just begin by saying peri peri sauce I've found. I've tried many brands and they are just not good. Uh, this brand happens to be good. Uh, it's actually really good. It doesn't have that really odd flavor that really throws everything off. Um, and it has a halal symbol to be honest with you. It is from Great Britain. And uh, this is the hot and spicy flavor. And this is the lemon and herb flavor. And both are the best uh, peri peri sauces I've found. Now, you can't just use them the way they are. I'm not, uh, now you just can't use them the way uh, they are. I don't recommend that. And actually, the peri peri places don't. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it in a cup. And the reason we're gonna put it in a cup. The reason we're going to put it in a cup is because it'll make it easier for us to dunk the chicken. So we're just going to put just a little bit, 
we are going to be brushing it on, but if we dunk it, we'll get a, a nice thick layer on that. So let's add the hot spicy sauce to one side. We're going to add the lemon and herb on the other side. Okay. And what we're going to do, the key ingredient is, at least my theory is, and it's really good, is a little bit of cream, heavy cream. So you can just add just a little bit at a time, just a little bit. You know, one tablespoon, or sorry, one teaspoon at a time. Mix it in. And add to your liking. Hey, if you like it without this, then just put a little, try it, and if you don't like it, don't, you know, you don't need to add it. But I think it's just a, sometimes just a way, a little, way too tangy and acidic, so I add this just to balance it out. Let's check that out. I mean, that's an amazing sauce, to be honest. Spicy, and has a little bit of balance from the, from the cream. We're going to do the same thing with a lemon and herb. Add a little bit of cream here. So, I got this from Mediterranean Mart, but if you don't have one nearby, I'll put the link in the description below in our Amazon affiliate link. So, you see, family, I'll be um, basically... Uh, if you use a, that link to buy something, at no cost to you, I'll get a commission. That's all it means. Lemony and herby. Alright, alhamdulillah. Alright, Steve family, let's check on our chicken. Sorry, Steve family. Alright, it's drizzling a little bit. Bismillah. MashaAllah. Just look at that color. So it's been about an hour. And the color looks gorgeous. Spicy and non spicy. And we got the. I have a thermometer here, check for temperature, just to kind of see where we're at. Link for that will be in the description below as well. Oh yeah, these are ready. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the chicken lollipop here, dunk it, dunk a couple in this one, dunk a couple in this one, brush it up, put it in maybe for like a, a few more minutes. And let's see if these wings are ready as well. So crispy. I'll show them. Yep, they're ready. Oh, an hour each camera. Oh, it really needed. thunderstorming so alhamdulillah we got it, it worked out just in time that being said i plated our beautiful halal looking chicken wings and chicken lollipops here we have the non-spicy we got the spicy one we got the the spicy peri peri sauce and then we got the lemon and herb sauce here so let's start off uh, and then you know you can see how beautiful they look mashallah and if you can hear look how crispy they sell so really crispy. Um, that's pretty impressive, you know, even on a smoker here. So Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. All right, Steve family. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. First bite for our brothers and sisters in? Palestine. How about both? Yeah. All right, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. First bite for our brothers and sisters in Palestine and Japan. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Check out the non-spicy chicken wings. Bismillah. Super tender, flavorful, super crispy skin. Really impressed, alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Really, really nice. Um, let me just show you, HD family, how, how it looks inside there. MashaAllah. So, really, I mean, it's, it's 
very flavorful. So very simple flavors, uh, but very good. You can add whatever sauce you like, barbecue, ranch, whatever you want, and definitely it'll be amazing. Bismillah. Next, let's try the spicy flavored one. I actually prefer Winguts AC family. Look at that, mashallah. All right, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. There's a spicy one, Bismillah. This is the flavor. This is um, alhamdulillah, smoky, uh, spicy, um, well, very, very tender. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Um, I think this is my no, my new go-to rub. And then you have that little citrusy flavor from the sumac. I mean, it's just it's it's, um, and it makes all the difference. So you really need to have that. So I definitely recommend it. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, what a blessing to be able to enjoy this. All right, Steve family, finally, what I'm really interested in is the Porto's, <laughs> is in the Peri Peri Chicken. This is the lemon and herb. All right, let's take a bite. Bismillah Can you tell how juicy the chicken is, mashallah? It's so tender and juicy, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Bismillah. Now, obviously, with more sauce, it'll taste better, but... Alhamdulillah, either way, it's really good. Actually, here we go. Let's use the sauce. Let's dunk it. Bismillah. Bismillah. Now it's finger looking good. Alhamdulillah. Now let's try the spicy peri peri. This one is I'm the most excited for. Just in case we need more sauce, we got it ready. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. That's the sauce, HD family. I'm telling you. Alhamdulillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. What a big blessing. Just dunk it in there. So remember, I brushed this while the chicken was cooked. Don't don't dip it in something if you use this to brush uncooked chicken, all right, HD family? Just remember that. Bismillah. Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala rasulullah wa nabi for allowing us to have this blessing, I want to thank our subscribers, our viewers, and our future HD family subscribers for supporting the channel. The HD family knows by simply watching our videos, we'll be helping support charitable organizations, inshallah. As always, we encourage what is good to be sent against injustice and oppression. We are with our brothers and sisters in Palestine, in Gaza, in Sheikh Jarrah, in Silwan, in Al Aqsa, in Jordan, in Lebanon, in Syria, in Egypt, in Yemen, in Iraq, in Afghanistan, in Pakistan, in India. Our Rohingya and Uyghur brothers and sisters, our Kashmiri brothers and sisters, our brothers and sisters in Indonesia, in Malaysia, in Japan, in Singapore, in Korea, in Vietnam, in Taiwan, in Nigeria, in Sudan, in Somalia, in Kenya, in Algeria, in Morocco, here in America, in all of North America, in South America, in Europe, in Asia, in Africa, in Australia, and everywhere where Allah and His Messenger are raised and praised, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be a benefit to all of humanity based on the sunnah of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and with that assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh peace be to you